This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network. TPN.TV partners include Gazelle.com. Turn in your old iPhone into cash. Visit TPN.TV slash cash. All right, next up we've got, let's see, uh, Peter Gabriel uh, from iDevices. How are you guys? Pretty good. How about yourself? Thank you for having me. How are you today? Nice to meet you. I love the t-shirt. You got something on the back there too, Yes. It says uh, connecting your world. So okay. That's what iDevices does. So. iDevices, uh, I know what it, it, it's all about, but why don't you tell our uh, viewers what uh, iDevices is yeah, all about? Yeah, so iDevices, we uh, create app-enabled products that work with your smartphones um, and your tablets. Uh, we specialize in the kitchen market, so we actually have, uh, launching here this year, four new um, cooking thermometers that connect to your phone and allow you to monitor your food temperature from up to 150 feet away. So do you have other types of thermometers, like for meat or barbecuing or whatever? Right. So we have actually two that are for the indoor cooking market, and then as well we have two new ones that are for the outdoor cooking market. So if I'm outside barbecuing something and then I get talking and distracted, uh, I can have it on my smartphone and it will beep me or exactly. yell at me, hey, you're burning it or whatever, which right. is what I usually do. <laughs> what's, yeah. what's the name of the product then? Or? Uh, the name of the product is uh, we have the iGrill and then we I have grill. the yeah. uh, the kitchen thermometer, the iDevices kitchen thermometer. That is for the indoor cooking market. Now, uh, see, I have I have the first generation iGrill, um, which has the two, uh, two uh, sensors and the two th thermometers. I, n I never use both of them at the same time. But it's perfect because I have one that I just used for chicken uh, the <laughs> day before and it's sitting over and I haven't even washed it, I don't want to wash it. It's like, okay, well, I'll just grab the other thermometer <laughs> and plug it right in and then, uh, and then put it in, uh, hook it up to my iPad and, uh, and then sit back and wait for the, uh, the, t the magic 160 degree uh, number for chicken right. to be done. So exactly. you're, you, when you purchase the piece of equipment, uh, let's say the eye grill, it actually comes with the thermometer and software, or is that something that you download on the internet? Does it work with the uh, Android system? Uh, so uh, the new products are, are right now only iOS compatible. Only iOS, uh, okay. You get the, um, so we actually have a new single probe uh, device that retails for $39.99. Um, that's available on our website, iDevicesInc.com. Um, you go to the App Store, you download our free iDevices Connected app, and you're going to be able to go into there and set your temperature of how you want your food cooked, and it's going to alert you when your food's ready. Awesome, awesome. What else you got then? Uh, so um, on top of that, we also have a consulting side of the business. So we actually create app-enabled products for some of our customers. Um, one is called the iSwimBand. It's a uh, drowning prevention device, which you would put a bracelet around your child's wrist and set a, um, a timer of how long they can be underwater in a pool for. If it's immediate really? and the device goes underwater, it's going to alarm your phone and let you know that someone Man, is in the pool drowning. Man, that thing makes me nervous already. <laughs> Just the thought of that makes me nervous. Wow. That's, it, it's, it's interesting because I, I didn't even think of something like that, and you guys thought of that. And, right, uh, yeah. It's, I, I, I'm, I don't have any kids to worry about that, but <laughs> there are parents out there that are really concerned how, you know, Where how long Where does the device hook underwater? on to the child? Uh, so you have, it comes actually with two different devices. You can either do a bracelet or um, around the forehead, similar to a pair of goggles. Um, and so you can choose which one um, you want to put on there, whether your child wants it on their wrist rather than fidgeting around with their forehead. So if they were having it on their hand, I, they're in the water anyway playing around, so that thing would be going off every three seconds. Well, so in the app, you can set a timer. So if you have a child who say is a, um, a decent swimmer, you set the timer so that after 20 seconds, if they're still underwater and that connection isn't there for Bluetooth, it's going to alarm you and let you know that there's a child that could possibly be drowning in your pool. You Ooh. should put them in the goggle, into the goggles or, or in the nose guard because those are the two things exactly. that, that people use in yeah, the Yeah, that could be the next step for the product uh, yeah. moving forward. So um, we'll see how what's the, that the product market called? It's called the eye swim band. The eye swim band. You know, I'll tell you, just as a side note, uh, I'm from the, uh, the Phoenix area and... Uh, uh, I've been living there now for maybe, I don't know, six, seven years, and uh, when I first moved there, I was appalled at how many uh, children were drowning in people's backyard pools, and I would say, like, my God, what, how can you not watch your baby? And uh, it, it was really upsetting to me, and then uh, the longer I lived there, what I realized, uh, I finally had a granddaughter, and uh, she's, a, she's a one and a half now, and uh, man, she moves like lightning, mm -hmm. and now I understand how, how quickly something could happen, and it's not that you're not a good parent, you just turn your head and... Man, they're gone, and uh, 
you know, something like that at least gives you some some heads up. So uh, interesting device for sure. Thank Cost you. on that? Uh, it's going to retail for 149. 149. Right. All right. And uh, where could people find your products? Uh, the iDevices products, the iGrill, and the kitchen thermometer are available on iDevicesInc.com. Uh, the iGrill Mini is also available in uh, 518 Lowe's stores around the U.S. And the iDevices Kitchen Thermometer will launch on Apple.com at the end of January. Very good. And you also have a lot of other devices there too, right? Correct. Yep. You can go on our website and see our full lineup. Uh, we have the iShower and some accessories that work with all of our products. So iDevicesInc.com, go ahead and check it out, and you'll find a lot of cool products there. Great. Right. Thanks for coming in. Peter, thank, thank you, you very much. much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Awesome stuff. All right, we'd like to thank our 2014 sponsor, Gazelle. You can sell your, your devices for cash. Now, we're here at a trade show that, that shows off new products. So you might have the old version of that tablet or that smartphone, and now you know that there's a new version out and you're going to go buy it. So go and go over to Gazelle right now and lock down the rate for your device. And then when it's time to buy that new one, then you've got that lockdown rate and go from there. Gazelle, they have smartphones, tablets, computers. They can then redistribute it, or if it needs to be recycled, they'll do it properly, the green and efficient way. Check it all out. Go over to tpn.tv forward slash cash, tpn.tv forward slash cash. And thank you very much for being a sponsor over at tpn.tv.